And to my surprise, a white ghosted type woman in a nurse get up, an old fashioned nurse get up, bloody apron with a knife in her hands over my body. I froze, looked at her, and thought to myself, I am dying. <laughs> right? I stand up on my bed. I stand up almost quick, quick. And I just run. I run so hard, I hit the wall. Because my ball, my bed was against the wall. I hit the wall so fucking hard, full speed, full speed, dude. Bow. My mom was like, Tony, what happened? Tony, screaming. And I'm like, Mom, they're going to kill me. Mom. Talk about angles and shit. Yo, are you guys superstitious at all? Do you guys believe in karma? Do you guys... Wait, wait, pause. <clears throat> pause on what? Can, can, we, can we dig into this segue a little bit? <laughs> on Doughboy's <laughs> talk? Talking, talking, talking about, about different angles. angles. Oh. Are y'all superstitious? <laughs> I just wanted to get away from Doughboy's cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's bringing back traumatizing th- fucking images in my head that I don't need to be looking at. I thought it's, it was it's done appreciated. Okay, okay. This just changed the angles of this conversation. <laughs> but superstitious. Are we superstitious? Like, do you believe I, in karma or like? I'm you know? less superstitious than my grandma and my grandfather was. My grandfather and my grandmother are very superstitious people. My grandma was the one who taught me about the sweeping people's feet shit. She's like, oh, well, oh, yeah, you must not want to get married anytime soon for your grandmother. She always like say some stuff like that because they're they're all about um, everybody in my family got married early. Spanish people are like, get married before you're 21 type shit. It's weird. Yeah. Um, so wait, sweeping people's feet. Yeah. They said that if, if you, you sweep their feet, they won't get married. Yep. What? My grandmother said that shit, too. I have never heard that one. That's wild. Yep. Yeah, maybe so it's like Caribbean shit, but uh, yeah, I mean, I know this shit. I don't know. It seems like it seems like I know every, like everybody I know knows this, but maybe it's my little world of, of of all these like fucking Caribbean people that believe the same shit. I like, I like even, reading about I like reading about these like these uh, superstitions and like cryptids and things like that. Like the chupacabra, that's a cool, that's a cool little story. A little like uh, like a goat vampire thing going around and sucking on some goats. Blood. The name's funny, the chupacabra. <laughs> Yeah, I I also like to read into this stuff mainly because I really don't believe in any of this at all. Maybe maybe just the, the tiniest amount, um, I'll say. But um, and, and so yeah, I'm always curious, like why, like who associated sweeping feet with with not getting married? Like, there's a story there, some kind of folklore or folk tale or something that that gives you some insights into why you know some that that belief is the case i find that super interesting maybe way back uh, in the day somebody swept somebody's foot and that person was tired of it he made up a story so people would stop sweeping his feet or someone's feet and be like yo if you do this you won't get married and then we're like oh it must be real and then like you know i think that's how dumb stupid shit started like back in the days from just pure ignorant shit probably. i mean there's a lot of them <laughs> if you break a mirror what is bad luck or something like that? 13 years of bad luck. 13. It's one of those magic, powerful numbers. Yeah, which I, I, got, I, got, I got numbers of power hold in my up, life. Hold up, hold like, up, hold up, hold up. If superstitions aren't real, why is there not a 13th floor in any building? I was just about to say in, that. In America. But there is. Some, some buildings. It's after the 12th. No, some the, buildings uh, do have a thirteenth floor though. I've seen I've seen a building. I've had. never seen in a day in my life in New York a building with the thirteenth floor. That's super soup that's a superstition. But yeah. like literally Everybody follows you can't, it. Yes. What's up with that? I think it's mainly because people believe in superstitions. So like the thirteenth yeah, but- floor make people uncomfortable. So if you if you had a building with a 13th floor, Doey would be like, I'm not going to live. Oh, there's 13th floor unit available. I'm not moving in that bullshit. Like, and, yeah. and probably for that reason, they're do- they're avoiding those types of problems. That would be my, my logical, like, um, mm-hmm. approach to maybe trying to understand that issue. I don't like, it sounds like what you're saying is 
if a building included a 13th floor, there were some bad things would happen, is what it seems like you're implying. Which doesn't make sense because if you just count, if you Im- count the floors one by one, even if it says 14, that's still the 13th floor. It's just the number <laughs> 13 is not there. But it's not my superstition. This is a superstition of architects and building engineers and floor planning. Yeah, like, but you believe not, it though, right? Because you're saying I believe if it's what? not. Well, because you said if it's not real, then why don't they do a 13th floor? Like the implication of that statement is that you do think they're real. Well, I'm I'm just saying <clears throat> if superstitions are not a thing, if it's fake, if it's like a how come the entire building philosophy is like you don't include a 13th floor. Like I'm just saying if if uh, is a superstition that strong? That it could literally annihilate science, like yeah, like for example, um, if you go to a, a, any um, Americanized Chinese food, every single Chinese restaurant you'll go to to get food, they'll give you packets of like duck sauce and soy sauce. If you look on the packet, what does it say on there? No MSG, <laughs> right? They want everybody to know there's no MSG in this food. But why do they want you to do that? Like, why do they want you to know that? It's because some people fucking way back in some time period said, I mean, not that long ago, maybe like 30, 40 years ago or some shit like that. Um, They're basically saying like MSG has all these negative effects on you, like cancer. It'll kill you. uh, It'll kill you and all this shit. And it's completely unfounded. It's a totally normal thing that makes food taste better. Everybody understands this. They use this in restaurants. They use this in food and all this shit. There's and, some racism and xenophobia at work there. Right, right. But it doesn't stop it doesn't stop them from both A, allegedly not putting MSG in their food, and B, not and they put it on every single packet. Like they want to inform the public, hey, we're not using MSG here. Like, don't worry about it. And it's like that's like a, a response that's not scientific in nature. Like they're totally doing this because the public is concerned about this. So, Pucho, have you ever had an unexplained event happen in your life? Whether you believe there's a there's a scientific explanation for it that you just weren't in, you didn't have possession of all the facts? Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> one that I could think of right off the top of my head, when I was four years old, I got hit by, like, a, a car, like a, not, it wasn't like a sedan, it was like something, not quite a truck, but like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's somewhere in between, like, a truck and a, and a, and a, and a sedan or whatever, like whatever, like a station wagon or something along those lines. I was four years old, right? Um, and I got dragged through the street and everything. Holy but, um, shit, dude. Right? So I got rushed to the hospital and all that shit. And when I went to the hospital, the the um, the the people that were looking at me, they were like, yo, the, this boy don't got nothing wrong with him. Like, he don't got nothing. So, and I remember this shit. Like, um, so yeah, I mean, I went, I got, I went to the hospital for getting hit by a car and I didn't have any broken bones. I wasn't cut or nothing. I went back home like it was nothing, but like my grandmother saw me get hit by a car. My cousins were there. My parents came, ran outside. Like, so like, that's something that is like, like, like I'm interested in what really happened there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people claim they saw me get hit by a car, right? Like the more the more likely thing that I could think of is like the car was coming. I might have recoiled at, like when I saw it and kind of threw myself back, and I just the car went right over me. Like I went I went under the car and it it probably grabbed onto my clothes and dragged, it dragged me like and, and it, like ripped my clothes off or whatever. Like that would be like a logical thing that I could think of, but it feels a little bit unexplained. Like I don't know what happened. And people claim, nah, I saw Pucho get hit by that car. You know what I mean? Like, yo, that's so, crazy. So basically, you're Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. That's what I like to think. Yo, that's I've never crazy. broke a bone. Never broke a bone, man. Yeah. Maybe that car just <laughs> didn't hit you right. I'm, well, I'm sure you know how to fucking kill things, Mr. Hamster Killer. Over here. <laughs> Mr. I want to be a contract killer for hire. I'm sure, I'm sure you've learned some techniques. I'm glad. So I, I'm glad you didn't get fucked up by the car. You know what I mean? That could have been really bad. I would have probably never met you. You know, but that's just yo. That's crazy. I'm just imagine how depressing it'd be for a parent. Like you got this four year old kid and they just fucking died. Like shit I happens. Would fuck that depressing. driver up. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, this is the middle of the hood. The whole hood came out to kill this guy too. Yo, that shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I, my oh yeah. my god. So but, they call the cops. I think, 
Um, yeah, I think they took me in an ambulance. Damn. So, so I've got I've I've uh, I, I lean on the side of being a skeptic, right? That's 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 where I lean. I mean, I'm uh, I'm, I'm agnostic. I've been atheist very po- various points in my life. So, like, how uh, how am I not going to believe in a heaven? But I'm going to believe that there's ghosts, right? Like, how 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 do I how do I uh, I rectify that in my head, right? And I don't I don't really believe in them. But I did have an interesting experience last year. I'm curious to see what y'all's take is on this. Uh, so I was uh, dating this girl at the time, and we used to go thrift shopping a lot. And um, I like to buy goofy art from thrift shops. I got a painting downstairs that I call Gentleman Horse, and it's this horse head, and he's wearing like a, like a little like tuxedo. It's like the the top part of it is Gentleman Horse. It's a goofy painting. I like it. <laughs> well, the painting that I bought this time is this. It was that a, looks it was, that like it a was, fucking La Llorona, Llor- Llor- bro. It it was a it was a hand, <laughs> it was hand painted. It was an original work of art, and there was no no one signed it. There was no no indication on it or anything. It just just this random painting I found in the goodwill. That's creepy. I like creepy things. I went and put it in my living room. That's where I have all my creepy paintings and artwork. That's where all my like skulls and like anatomy and like my my goat skull with like painting like that's painted. That's where all my creepy shit is. So, so just a just quick interjection. This is just this is why I say I pretty much don't believe in any of this stuff. It's because in reality I don't at all. But like I wouldn't bring that painting to my house. Something I'd be like, eh, this shit creeps me out. Who knows? A ghost might come out on my house. Even though I don't believe in it at all. Like I kind of have those things. Like th- there was this doll somewhere that's like, oh, if you take a picture of this doll, this this doll's ghost would haunt you or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like obviously that's a fake story but i ain't taking a picture of that shit <laughs> you know <laughs> so, anyways go ahead i, I want I'm, I'm very interested in those stories so i put this painting up on the wall and my apartment is very quiet my apartment is the most one of the most quiet apartments in the world the, ro- the only sound you get is you get a little bit of road noise you get some highway noise which i kind of like when i'm trying to sleep it's kind of soothing there, you, there started being like creaking sounds. I could hear, I could hear the stairs because the stairs make sounds when you walk up and down them. At night, I could hear like the stairs making sounds. This house would make a little bit more like settling sounds than I was used to. I, uh, there was, there were sounds. It was interesting. And then at a certain point, though, you have to ask yourself like, are there more sounds, or am I just hyper aware because I heard this sound and now it's put me in a state where I'm hearing more shit, right? Whatever. A f- few weeks go by. I keep hearing. I keep hearing like my more movement in my house and i don't know whether it's just me imagining things this is in the hot, the middle of covid too so maybe it's just my covid brain going crazy and Im- imagining things then something weird happened when i was sleeping one night i was sleeping and i woke up because there was a bright ass fucking light shined in my face and it was red it was this bright red light and it went fr- i was laying in my bed and it went from the left side of my face to the right side of my face. Like someone had a flashlight and it like swept it across me. And on the left side is my bathroom and there's no lights over there. And on the right side of me is the only like actual source of light. But it was this bright red light. Like it was like one of those like military lights with like the red little like gel filter on it. Mm. It was that it was that shade of red. <laughs> and I woke up and I was like what the fuck was that? Because like this light is what woke me up. This light shining across my face. It's super weird. I made note of it. I was like some creepy shit going on here. <laughs> well, a uh, home that I've been dating, uh, she came over and slept over one night, like a week later, two weeks later, something like that. Guess what woke her up in the middle of the night? Same exact thing. Red light across her face woke us both up this time. What the fuck? Yeah, um, she started getting freaked out at this point. She was a lot more of a believer than I was. She was way less skeptical. She talked to a priest, <laughs> and the, oh the priest, <laughs> the priest's words of advice were, "You need to tell your boyfriend that he needs to come back to the church and come back to God. He shouldn't be playing with things like this." <laughs> Yo, that I don't fuck with that shit. I would have thrown that painting away immediately. You have the painting still? I put it by the dumpster and it was gone in five minutes. So it's someone else's problem. <laughs> <laughs> Have you but seen the license then? 
No, dude. I was like, my apartment's been quiet again. There's no light waking me up in the middle of the night. Yeah, I so were you just sleeping on your I, back? I think, I think it's La Llorona. That's who <laughs> Yo, I think it is. Facts. Facts. Yeah. And I will tell you, the night that I threw that painting away, the night I went and put it by the dumpster, there was a big ass storm that night. And the wind was blowing and the tree was like hitting against the window. <laughs> she was trying to get back in, dude. That's what was going on. I'll tell you <laughs> oh what, bro. There's a I, lot of coincidence in this story. I don't know if I fully <laughs> buy into that there's a ghost, but there's a lot of coincidence in this story. Unexplainable <laughs> shit, bro. Like that, that's that's what I that, that shit is the study you can't explain by with science or anything. That shit, that that that's some superstitious shit. Like <laughs> when I first started dating Emily and I started staying at her house, mind you, I'm I'm superstitious, but not super, super superstitious. You know what I mean? He's just a little stitious. I'm just there, right? I come to find out one day. I told this girl, like it was like a month or so before she were moving or whatever. And this girl, Emily, shows me a fucking Luigi board. I said, yo, why the fuck? I said, I've been sleeping here this whole time with that shit in your closet. So yeah, it's just a board. I said, did you play with this board? Or like my friends did, and then they just left it here. No, 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 no. I was like, give it back to them. Don't bring it with us. Do not bring that shit with us, right? I told her, leave it in the closet. When, as a matter of fact, when we move, leave it in the closet. Don't bring it with us. That same night, I slept at her house. That same night, I felt a chill. That same night, my arm, my fucking foot got pulled off the fucking bed, my nigga. I woke up praying to God. <laughs> I felt my whole <laughs> foot get yanked off the bed. Nigga, my head was at the headboard. When I woke up from getting pulled, I was like, what the fuck? I, my head was at her stomach. And I felt a cold fucking hand on my foot. Bro, I woke up. I fucking shimmied all the way up to the headboard like a little fucking girl. I woke this bitch up. I said, uh, my wife, sorry. I woke my wife up and I was like, yo, did you pull my fucking leg? <laughs> she was like, she looked at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? I turned on the light. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there and I sit to myself and I said, damn, fucking board is upset. So what I told her to do, get rid of that shit. Got rid of the board. Thank God to this day. Knock on wood. That superstitious shit right there. <clears throat> I ain't had no problems with that shit again. But that shit scared me. I, the moment I found out about it and the moment I, I put some bad juju on it to get rid of it, that shit came at me, bro. It did. I don't know why people play with that board. I don't know. Emily not. messed up. Emily messed up on a great chance to just mess with you. She should have been like, I got rid of that board. It's gone, babe. Don't even worry about it. And then put it straight back in the fucking room. And like, how did this get here? Oh, I would have probably, I would have probably God. broken up with her. I would have broken up with her. <laughs> Real shit. Oh my God. I would have broken up with her. I would have not had Alexander right, or Luca right now. I would have not had a, a wife right now. I would have not. I don't play with that shit. Be like, so, hey, my name is so, Emily Rose. And so, we, so we don't want to get together and do a one-up podcast seance. Hell yeah. Oh, be lit. I'm down. The CEO would not Dude. be attending at this one-up podcast. <laughs> <laughs> my co-CEOs can just Dude. sit there by themselves and die. The same company that makes the Monopoly board makes the Ouija board, dude. That's it. So? Isn't it? That, the Monopoly board is not fucking bringing evil spirits. It's just making it, it is, making though. you, have you evil. Played, have, you played, have you played Monopoly? The Monopoly board summons some evil spirits. No, That's it just fact. makes you an asshole in sales and <laughs> trades. I think, Tony, you're making my point. As I'm saying, the same way that the Monopoly board doesn't bring evil spirits, the same, the same way that the Ouija board, the other board made by the same company, also doesn't bring evil spirits. I'm good, bro. I'm not playing with that. Can, no, I feel you. Like shit. I said, like I said, I don't believe in any of this nonsense. To me, if you believe in superstitions and things like that, I straight up just I categorize you in my head and I go, eh, this person believes in magic. I, <laughs> I honestly think of it like that. That's not insulting or nothing, you know. Just I, I, I put it in my head like, all right, this is a person that believes in magic. Like, 
just so I could fool you later. Maybe I'll pull a magic trick on you. You'll believe that shit. I'm not going to lie. I got, an, I got a funny story about being scared in the middle of the night. Almost similar to my tale, but I think I was actually going to die. One night. Uh, wait, sorry. Before we go down th- that, though, like I, I'm... We kind of moved on a little too quick off Mateo's thing. I, I'm I'm still fascinated. I'm, I was trying to think, like, <laughs> what is this red light? That Because at first I was like, like, I, I forget what they call it. Um, but I have this thing sometimes where, like, when I'm sleeping, I'll hear, like, a loud scream when I'm waking up. But it's just, like, in my mind. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm inventing the sound. See? And so I was just wondering, like, if that's something that you were doing and maybe this red light was... Was. So, so that was that was part of my thought process because I I'm prone to sleep paralysis whenever I'm stressed, mm-hmm. and sleep paralysis like I've straight up like felt like there were people breaking into my house that I've seen a shadow man in the doorway I've felt demon hands pulling me through the bed like my my brain's done all kinds of crazy tricks to me right so like the red light by itself on me it wasn't necessarily like me being like oh fuck it's haunted that's like that's a ghost painting <laughs> the, the ghost is coming to get me or anything the sounds in the middle of the night could also be the same thing like my sleep paralysis has presented itself just as me hearing sounds just as me hearing someone shuffling around my house sleep paralysis is a weird fucking thing there's a great documentary on it if you ever want to know what sleep paralysis is like because it is it's it's a wild thing um uh, the 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 girlfriend at the time, the ex coming over and like co-signing though, that's where I, that's, that's the part where my, my skepticism like dies a little bit. And I'm like, the did fuck she, was it? did she know of this story or you didn't tell her? Uh, yeah, she, she definitely knew of the story, but she's not prone to, she was not prone to sleep paralysis. Um, she wasn't even asleep yet when she saw this light. Her eyes were open. Her eyes were closed, but she, she was not, a, she was not asleep yet. Like this was like, we had no. seriously like almost <laughs> just laid down. <laughs> And she, uh, me out. but she is also more of a believer. So like there, there's, there's some arguments that can yeah, be made I, on, e- on each yeah. side. I'd say that's I, an important detail that was left out that I'm now going to use as, as yeah. the explanation for my belief is that this susceptible person who's susceptible to these types of beliefs, you, you come, conv- you told her the story and she believed that this actually happened to you in a physical way. Like it actually occurred. And she she either um she either fell asleep and dreamed it or she imagined it or something. Now, although now the, you did say that it woke you up at the same time, right? Yes, I was yeah, going to say. All right, there's something in your house, not a spirit. <laughs> I, 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 there's got to be something in your house, dude. Any day now say, you're going to be got, woken got, up got, by the I, red light again, and you're going to be looking for another painting you bought instead of whatever the fuck no, this thing the is. The painting is going to reappear. I, That's what's I, haven't had, I haven't if had a red light. Happens, I would fucking move out. Again, oh I don't God. believe in superstitions. To- totally. Uh, well, so, only only a little bit. I only believe in them a little bit. And that so, is that it would freak me out. I still get antsy. I get scared. Like, oh, shit. I heard a sound. You know what I mean? But I don't know. So the only reason I got rid of the painting, actually, is because uh, she told me she would no longer be coming over to my house or sleeping over at my house if I didn't get rid of that painting. But I will tell you, because I'm an asshole, yeah. there, was, there was a part of me. They wanted to fake getting rid of it and sneak it into her fucking car. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. That's she would have crashed. That poor girl would have fucking That's crashed. Terrible. But like I was going to tell you, so in the middle of the night at 3 a.m., I think, right, the, light, the power went out in my house. And my mother, she's being nosy mom, being protective mom, goes to everybody's room and wakes them up and see if they're okay. We're sleeping. Like the power went out. Just move on with your life. Like it's going to come back on. Nope. She wants to be there. I'm sleeping in my room peacefully. My mom wakes me up banging on because I lock my doors. My mom's open. Da, 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 da. Tony, open the door. Tony, open the door. I'm half asleep laying in my bed. And I hear her. I'm like, why is she banging on my door? I open my eyes. And to my surprise, a white ghosted type woman in a nurse get up, an old fashioned nurse get up, bloody apron with a knife in her hands over my body. I froze, looked at her and thought to myself, I am dying. (laughs) Right. I stand up on my bed. I stand up. 
almost quick, quick, and I just run. I run so hard I hit the wall because my ball, my bed was against the wall. I hit the wall so fucking hard, full speed, full speed, dude. Bow. My mom was like, "Tony, what happened, Tony?" Screaming, and I'm like, "Mom, they're gonna kill me, Mom!" I'm like fucking 14 years old, I think at the time. I'm still in high school, I think, or. Ninth grade or some shit. I mean, mom, they're gonna fucking kill me. Mom, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. Open the fucking door. Like, I can't. I can't open the door. I was like, get Lena, Lena, get Lena. She can open the door. Get Lena. I'm fucking. After I smack the bed or the wall, I fall back on my back and get off. And I fall off the bed. Oh, I smack the bed. I get on all fours and I start crawling to the door. Oh, open the door. I'm gonna die. Open the fucking door. They, I don't know how my sister finally opens the door. I'm fucking crawling out of my room. My mom, everybody, my dad, and all them are in the hallway. They say that my face was so fucking white, pale white, because of the fear I had in me. And I'm fucking hyperventilating, and they're like, what happened? Who's in the room? My dad rushes in the room. Who's in the room? They think someone broke into the window trying to kill me. I'm like, the ghost. She's She's got blood all over her. She's going to kill me. da 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 and everybody's like freaking out or whatever. And then my little sister goes and says, I don't see nothing What's wrong with him or some shit like that. And they all just like, shut the fuck up, Tony. You're having a bad dream. Pushing that shit off. I'm like, bro, I saw it. It was just standing over my body. That sounds like a night terror. It might have, it might have been. But either way, that shit was real as fuck to me. I didn't go back in that room. Need to say I didn't. I didn't go back in that room that night. Perception, perception is reality. Uh, that shit had me fucked. My dad's like, "Sigue jugando ese pinche Nintendo." That's all he could blame it on. The fucking Nintendo. That's all he could blame yeah, it that, on. That's, that's a fact. His yeah, parents. 100, 100%. The only thing they blame anything happened. You got bad grades. It's because the video games. You had a nightmare. The video games. You're Everything fighting with your brother. Game. Video games. Yep. <laughs> Everything at pinche Nintendo. Everything. Like, I'm just like, bro, it has nothing to do with the Nintendo. Like, it's just, that bitch was real. Like, it's a real I, thing. I am a little disappointed because it sounded like you're like you're about to hit me with the mother load of all, like, yo, this story is going to convince you. But it was just the, hey, I saw something and I freaked out about it. This is a classic case of you, you were just kind of in your little twilight. You were waking up, but you're not quite awake, so your eyes are open. No, yeah, I'm not trying and, to convince and, you. You have to experience it. I can't convince you. I see you. shit often. Yo, I have some fucking crazy dreams. Yo, just out of this fucking world. Really, really more recently, within like the last five years, they've been very reoccurring. It's weird. It's always the same place the same situations and i'm like oh, this is not fun i don't like these dreams you know what's crazy is that i've dreamed of dreams right but then they become deja vu like i dreamed mm. of a certain situation I, of a certain piece of time and then it actually happens like months down the road and i'm like damn i felt that as well i'm so like you guys are brujas i felt that as well like, I wake up and I'd be like, mm, okay. And then months down the road, holy shit, I just dreamed about this. He's going to say that. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? And Yesterday, actually, I had crazy deja vu. I had some family over at my house for one of the first times in, um, pretty much since the pandemic. And um, I was sitting there and I was like, man, I've seen this. Like, this is so familiar to me right now. And I, I even thought, like, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Like, I was like, yeah, my my, my cousin's kid is about to, like, walk by. And then she just walked right by. I swear to God, I had this exact thought. I was like, oh, shit. They changed and something then I in the just Matrix. sort of forgot about it. Yeah, it, it was really weird. Like, how can you? But then explain again, that? it's like your mind. Your mind is powerful, man. I could have heard her coming, and then, and then invented the thought right in that moment, and then, yo, I'm telling Dream, you, oh, dreams no, are man. basically just your your brain running like simulations. Like it's just it running like it's like uh, like practicing things, like looking but, through like your stresses and like potential future situations, just running like uh, situations. And through. you think, and it's gonna accurately paint a picture of something two months in the future 
Yeah, I mean, we do the same thing. We do. Why don't you ever get deja vu when you go to a brand new place for the first time? Like, you don't. Your, your deja vu is always in your common places. Like, you be in your crib every single day of your life. And, and how many times has your mom walked through that door or you came into your room after taking a shower or, or any number that like, these are super common things. Not only have you lived this so many times, you've probably dreamed it in some capacity as well. I, I feel like things just have a familiar look and every now and again, maybe you're feeling a little more introspective than usual, or you're not daydreaming as hard when you come in and, and, and you're just like, Oh shit. That, like, I don't know. Uh, or, uh, or alternatively, what if we're all living in a simulation? Hey, we that's, just that's, a glitch. It could be a glitch. It's all this all software. We don't actually exist. None of us exist. We're just ones and zeros. Or what if we live in like Jet Li's like the one kind of universe where there's a, a bunch of Infinite. parallel use. There's a bunch of parallel use in existence. And now I'm adding a new factor here. Every time they die, instead of you becoming more powerful like the one, you kind of just get their memories. But as like a subconscious thing hmm. and maybe maybe in that moment you you get struck with like this odd feeling of of, of nostalgia or 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 like you know <laughs> deja vu or whatever i would be down to have like a full-on like simulation uh reality conversation at some point but superstitions i do have lucky numbers i don't think i don't know that they're actually like lucky in general i like playing lots of number games in my head though my birthday is uh, March 21st. That's three, two, one. A nice little like sequence. You buy three by uh, 21 by three, you get seven. So my, my numbers are three, seven, and 21 typically. Hmm. That's cool. That's Jesus cool. has this weird thing in all of his birthdays in his family. There's a six somewhere in all of their birthdays or something in there is six. Huh. He lives on the sixth floor. I think the sixth letter of the alphabet is his is his apartment number. It was weird. It was yeah, his so his weird. his name his name only has six letters in it if you can't count yeah. right. <laughs> he said yes yeah, so quick before you even finished it. <laughs> I am interested in that one bit though. Every single person in his family's birthday has a six in it. Has some sort of reference. It's some sort of thing to six. What does that mean? It, there's a six in it? We'll have that conversation in a voice chat and we'll be able to explain it more in the uh, future. Do you, do you have lucky numbers, Doey? Yes. What is your lucky number? Nine. Why is nine your number lucky number? Nine. Number I don't nine. Know. It's an upside down it's six. It's the size of my dick. Yeah, nine Boot and six are cool. They're like opposites. <laughs> Butcher, do you have a lucky number? I don't know. I don't, no, nah. wouldn't imagine as much. I I have a favorite like twenty six is one of my favorite numbers like on a football like on like a jersey and shit like that. But no, it's not lucky. If I if I were to gamble on a number, I would either pick one of like those types of numbers that are associated with my life somehow, or just something totally random. So I don't know. I don't know. In in the even though we're wrapping up, I, I want to just introduce a whole rabbit hole here. Um, one one superstitious thing that we haven't really touched on that almost everybody subscribes to, I don't at all, is like in sports, like the concept of like bad juju or jinxing someone, facts, um, thing things like that. I almost everybody I know believes in this, and to me, I, it's just magic. I've I've never been I've never been in a situation where I would have to do this one, but I I think that the uh, the baseball one of your pitcher's pitching a perfect game. You don't you don't ever reference that they're pitching a perfect game to them. I I, I would subscribe to that one. I think it kind of oh. makes sense too because I think they'll get in their own fucking head if you're like, you're like, yeah. dude, you're you're just you're six pitches away from a perfect game. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, just get away from me. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that yeah, that for sure. But I would easily explain that as like you're creating a, a, a situation now where there's pressure. Like you created pressure where there wasn't. You know. Yep. Um, but you mean as far nah, as like is I, it, I know people like, that are like like, like we'll Tony, be watching a game miles and miles. I mean hundreds of thousands of miles away from wherever this thing is happening, 
And I'll say to my brother, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, yo, we about to blow them out. My brother's like, yo, chill, chill, chill. You're going to jinx us. And then, and then, so some shit like that happens. It's like, wait, hold on. How me having a conversation with you is going to affect the New York Knicks? Like, I'm interested in that. Like, And then they lose. And then it's like, you see, nigga? You said something. You jinxed us. That's what they'll say. But come on. You think they lost because I said it? Yeah, it's a jinx. It's the butterfly effect. Your conversation with your brother in the bar. and <laughs> Even that I could accept somewhat as a... As a if someone could logic it all the way down (laughs) there's not enough time to do that like but say you were in new york and like there's probably a butterfly effect from one person to (laughs) someone some other person that's seemingly far away that could occur you know what i'm saying like i'm sure something like that has happened but no i don't i don't think Oh, I like this athlete, or I, oh, I think this guy is gonna uh, do this, or blah blah blah, and then they get injured. It's like, yo, Pooch, that was Pooch's fault. Like, I, I totally remember when he said that. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's such a silly. Like, if you really believe that, like, you literally believe that I have the power to do incredible things. Like, I could just will the opposite effect that I want at any given moment. Like, that I don't know that that's magical. Again, if you don't think that's magic, I don't know what. And if you don't find that incredible, then I also, I, I don't know. You, you guys seem, you seem way too chill to, to, to like, if I, I just have the ability to destroy a career like, <laughs> at any time. And you're not amazed by that. You, like, I you don't know, know, though, some people do have that power, though. But, you know, we're, we're not talking magic, though. We're talking, like, physical. I, the, you, know, you know, the one that always wrote, though, pops in my mind is that uh, that Doctor Who thing. Where like he gets a, uh, you guys ever seen Doctor Who? You probably probably haven't seen Doctor Who. I have. There, there, there's there's a bit where like he's uh, this woman like goes against him. The prime minister goes against him, and she does some fucked up shit. And he's like, I can take your career away with with uh, one sentence. And she's like, Yeah, I'd like to see you try. And he goes to like her assistant. He's like, Doesn't she look tired? And like that starts like this whole rumor that she's like overworked, and she's like, It's this this whole thing takes her down with one sentence. Diablo. That's dope. That's dope. That's, That's dope. I'll, I'll end with this bit, okay? I do believe in Lil B's power. The base god is real. He could jinx you. He'll curse you. Oh, the base god. And he lifts curses, and, and people do well again. So, so I'll just put that out there. I well, really don't believe Very that. true. We just, didn't even get into aliens. No, that's all I was about to say. Just about a superstition. 